Great. First of all, thank you very much, everyone, for sticking around. So what I'm going to talk about is a little bit outside of the, the usual for this conference, or some would say outside of uh, the Earth, because what I'm going to speak about is about satellite-based infrastructure monitoring. So we're living through a time in which every outdoor asset anywhere across the globe is monitored nearly daily from space, meaning that really every asset could see big benefits. Imagine that you are a utility and you want to monitor your infrastructure grid more efficiently, or maybe you are a battery manufacturer who wants to monitor the supply chain more effectively. All of that could be powered and supported by satellite data. But really, enterprises, including utilities, fail to utilize this kind of data source. And that's exactly what we're changing. At LiveView, we've built the interface for Earth of Earth observation data for utilities. But what do we do in detail? There's a range of satellite operators out there who have launched hundreds of satellites into space. We take the best data, combine this data, harmonize it, apply our um, AI to it, and in the end, we deliver to the customer, the utility, what's really important for them, which is the information where their assets need to be maintained, where there's an external threat which needs to be removed. And the great thing about Earth observation data really is, and satellite data in particular, that you can get it from anywhere across the globe. So we have already monitored more than one million kilometers of infrastructure grids, meaning OLED lines, railway networks, or pipeline networks. To make it even more, yeah, more tangible, let's take an example, maybe the biggest example possible, which is the US American Transmission Network, the biggest machine on Earth. And uh, this machine on Earth has one big, yeah, you could say problem, which is vegetation, which grows too close to the overhead lines. 30% of all power outages are caused by vegetation, which grows or falls into the overhead line. But also every year, and I mean, every one of us knows this very, uh, very well, wildfires are becoming a more, a bigger and bigger problem. And a lot of these wildfires are caused by vegetation. And yeah, roughly the estimations are that 20% of all CO2 emissions globally are caused by vegetation, uh, uh, by, by uh, wildfires. And a lot of these wildfires are caused by um, over, um, trees falling into overhead lines. So what do utilities do against it? And I'm sure you're aware of that. Um, anywhere across the globe, but in the US especially, uh, billions of US dollars are spent on maintaining vegetation next to overhead lines, and we still see these issues. So we are helping utilities to precisely identify where trees have grow, uh, grown too close to a red line, um, and we break this down into actionable tasks, which then can be distributed to all the thousands and thousands of people in the field. We make this actionable by providing um, insights through our web and mobile app, through SAP Info and other integrations, so that really people can work on it, because often that has been the problem. And that's just one use case, right? The other use cases are ground deformation monitoring underneath of pipelines on a global scale, or third-party mon uh, change monitoring. All of this enables that the maintenance process moves away from a cycle-based to condition-based, and in the end, to a prediction-based process. And the estimations speak that 60% of all OPEX costs in this area can be saved through that process. So in the end, we are absolutely convinced that every major infrastructure grid on Earth will be monitored from space. What have we achieved to come to that goal within 2021? Uh, first of all, we raised the Series A, and thanks to Helen Ventures and Terhi uh, for joining that round, other investors have been Andy von Bechtelsheim or B2V. Um, we have grown our international footprint, meaning we have customers from nearly all continents. Um, we have nearly tripled our revenue over the last year. And most importantly for me, we've built up a great, incredible team in all areas, right, which is super important. And this team is really building up a technology which will not only change the utility space and the way how utilities maintain the networks, but I'm convinced that this technology and this team will build uh, will enable enterprises throughout all industries to change the way how they maintain their assets. And really, in the end, what we want to do with live use is we want to bring uh, Earth observation to all enterprises. So if you are interested 
and learning more about the benefits of Earth observation data. If you want to know how your utility can keep OPEX reliability and safety in balance, or if you want to know how to team up with us or invest in our next round, I would love to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.